Uh, Deputy Joe Higgins, there's a total of um, 12 minutes left in technical group time, so 12 minutes. Um, the European Stability Mechanism Bill uh, 2012. The European Stability Mechanism Bill 2012 is entitled An Act to Facilitate in the Public Interest the Establishment of a, a so called uh, Stability Mechanism. Um, that is an absolutely false claim because the ESM is being set up not in the public interest, which would mean the interest of the vast majority of ordinary citizens of the member states of the European Union, including Ireland. But the ESM is being set up primarily in the interests of the sharks who dominate the financial markets throughout the European Union, the major investment banks, the hedge fund operators, and the assorted uh, uh, speculators who operate within the financial markets. This fund is to underwrite their speculative loans and to underwrite those loans on the backs of the European taxpayers. Now, the players in the financial markets, the speculators, gain in every way it, in relation to the setting up of this fund. Their loans that they gave out speculatively in many cases are to be guaranteed by taxpayers, but the funds that may be used to bail them out in the event of difficulties will come from where? borrowed from the same markets, but with the governments guaranteeing that borrowing, guaranteeing those funds on the backs of the taxpayers who will be bled to meet the repayments. And all I could think of in reflecting on this situation is the great song made very well known by Christy Moore, called uh, Ordinary Man. Uh, in the words of a worker let go by his boss, he says in relation to the same boss, the captains of industry won't let him lose. He'll never lose. He's richer now. It seems to me such a cruel irony. He's richer now than he ever was before. And this is exactly the case the hedge fund operators, the major banks, whose speculation and wild gambling in property markets and in other ventures around the world brought the world to the financial ruin that uh, emerged three or uh, four years ago, are all now back at the same activity, speculating, profiteering, paying massive bonuses to the top echelons of those uh, banks. So this, in no sense, is uh, a solidarity fund. It is a fund to underwrite the casino capitalist activities of the banks and the bondholders, the same casino capitalism that uh, has uh, created the crisis, uh, the financial and economic, from which so many ordinary people across Europe are suffering so grievously at the, uh, the uh, present time. The same system, driven by lust for super profits, which drove the uh, speculation in the United States and in Europe, facilitated by the rating agencies who set themselves up as arbiters of best uh, practice, in uh, the financial uh, uh, affairs of nation states and legislated for, of course, by governments uh, across the world and across Europe. So this European stability mechanism is designed really by these markets for them and for their interests. The major political parties in Europe 
the, the biggest party in the European Parliament is the European People's Party, of which Fine Gael is uh, a, a component part, which Chancellor Merkel of Germany is a very prominent uh, member of. These major parties act quite simply as agents for the big players in the financial markets. And that's been very clear now over the last four years, as does the uh, Troika, of course, the combined forces of the European Union, the European Central Bank and the International Monetary Fund, who, when they arrived in this country in November of 2010, did not come here in any sense with the interests of the Irish people at heart, but simply to salvage the financial institutions across the European Union, to save them from the consequences of the reckless gambling and speculation in which they had indulged during the property boom in this, uh, in this uh, country. And despite all that, um, we have an Irish government supported uh, of Fine Gael and Labour, supported by Fianna Fáil, coming in and backing the setting up of a fund which will only play the role of a bailout mechanism for these um, major players in the financial markets. Now, Kian Cole, we do need in Ireland and in Europe a solidarity fund for the benefit of the ordinary people, the working class people and the poor of this country and of Europe. Across the European Union at the present time, a shameful 25 million people are unemployed. In the Eurozone itself, it's about 17 million people unemployed. Youth unemployment in countries like Spain is at absolutely crisis level, over 50%. But at the same time, across Europe and the Eurozone, big business and the major banks refuse to invest to bring together and to make available the productive forces that could have the unemployed people back to work, creating wealth, creating goods and services, generating taxes to, uh, to, to protect and to develop uh, public services. And the Wall Street Journal, in an article in March, uh, makes very illuminating reading. What it points out that the ratio of investment to gross domestic product in Europe is now at a 60-year low. But at the same time, that major corporations, major companies in the Eurozone are hoarding and not investing record amounts of, uh, of cash, of uh, profits, in other words, to the tune in the Eurozone of 2 trillion euro and in the United Kingdom, 750 billion pounds sterling. And last autumn, the European Central Bank made 1 trillion euro available to European banks at minuscule interest rates. But did they invest it? Did they leave those funds out to society, to small enterprises, to self-employed people, etc., to underwrite potentially the creation of millions of jobs? No. They either lodged it back with the central bank or bought up sovereign bonds. In other words, uh, went to, uh, to, to, to put it into the safest option possible to make a profit, but with no downstream benefit for the majority of people in society. Now, austerity is killing the domestic economies uh, 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 across Europe, and at the same time, big business... Two minutes. I know I have to have more than that. Oh, you have I, had 12, I had 12 minutes, you see, because my colleague stopped short. Now you have 2 minutes and 23 seconds left. Sorry about that. I'm being shortchanged here. Um, 
Austerity is killing domestic economies across Europe, but big business investment, uh, our big business is on, is on an investment strike. So we do need a solidarity fund and we need it urgently. And I would propose, for example, an, an emergency tax of 50% on that mass of uninvested profits, which were created by the labour of uh, working people by hand and by brain in any case. And that would make some trillions of euro available for a major job creation fund. And funds like this should be put into major infrastructural projects in the member states of the European Union, into public work projects creating necessary and useful infrastructure and services that would create millions of jobs and begin to regenerate and remake the broken economies of the so-called peripheral states, but generally across the European Union. Now, of course, the ESM will not be used in any sense for this purpose or to resolve the acute economic problems of Europe. It will be used simply to preserve the same rotten system that created the crisis and potentially demand 11 billion from the Irish people to do that and 700 billion from taxpayers across Europe. Last can call it the British Independent newspaper in a recent headline, front page, stated capitalism at a crossroads, referring to the major global crisis across the world. And that's absolutely correct. And we see the huge suffering that that has brought about in very, very many countries. And the millions of workers across Europe who are suffering from that but the millions of, cross, of workers across Europe and ordinary people we see now rising up against the fruits of that system and against the austerity that it's imposing. Thank you, Deputy. Workers in Ireland, ordinary people should join that. Reject this austerity, reject the ESM bailout of the financial markets, and instead have the financial institutions in public ownership and democratic control, a socialist economy where the resources are used for the benefit of society, not Thank for you. the greed of the same suspects who landed us in this incredible fiasco that society faces at the present time. Thank you, Deputy.